fellow YouTubers, Trouble835 here to YouTube Gaming Community number 61. So today's topic is kind of related to my channel. I just recently hit the thousand subscribers mark, which I'll do a special about, post a special about that tomorrow. And it is a number to me that I thought was unattainable. I mean, when I first started, I thought, okay, if I get, I get to 100 subscribers, I'll be happy. And I just never thought a thousand people would find what I do very interesting. I mean, I started my channel with the basic premise that I was just simply going to uh, make videos on my collection and my memories and have them for myself so that I can look on them later on down the road. If I wanted to. But to have a thousand people think what I do is interesting, just, it's just my mind. It made me think of this. What number would it be subscribers do you think is unattainable for you? What number do you think you'll never reach? Or did you think that number was unattainable and you reached it? And what was your reaction when you did? Like when I when I was, I don't pay attention to subscriber count any much anymore. I just kind of like okay, I thank the people I need to thank. But then when I hit, I happened to go on my page and saw a thousand, I was just simply sit back and wow. I mean, that is truly a, a great milestone for me. I just blew me away. So leave your comments below. So let's get to our videos to check out. And the first one's by Freak Indie. Max's collection in history, part one of three, 1984 to 1993. If you've never seen the early Maxis PC games, or if you want to relive uh, playing those games in the past, check out that video. Really well done. Next is Joe Mama's Ghouls and Ghosts, and there's some Japanese words I cannot say, so I just ain't going to waste my time. Uh, if you've never seen what the Japanese version, like the cartridge and the artwork looks on it, check that video out. Next is Lawn Boys Post 1975. Japanese Mega Drive unboxing. If you've never seen a Japanese Mega Drive or never seen one unboxed before, check that out. Next up is Computer History. Game design will roll right. He's up in front of a crowd talking about obviously game design. If obviously will right is a guy who is best known for Maxis. So if you're interested, check that out. And Arcade Games ColecoVision Side Track Game Development Update Number Five. Uh, if you want to see how the development of going is going for the side track and the ColecoVision. Uh, next up is Gamesters 81's Game Talk Feet Trouble 8385. A guy for some reason who doesn't understand there's an E at the end of trouble. But anyway, um, funny about that video, if you watch that video, I'm moving in the chair like constantly, and that is me in real life. That is me where I cannot sit still. I'm not a person who sits still for a very long period of time. I always gotta be moving, I always gotta be doing something. So the way you see me move so much in that video is actually me in real life. Like doing this video is the calmest you'll see me all day. And uh, a lot of fun doing, quite frankly. Uh, really enjoyed that. So anyway, Arcade Game Table, Japanese Genesis Converter. If you've never seen one, go look at that video. Nathan J. Barrett, Portable GameCube. Uh, you've never seen, uh, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe this is a, obviously a, hand, uh, a homebrew thing. Someone made it. It's not, I mean, there was never one released. Next, the Goon 02 Typing of the Dead import box set. If you've never seen the awesome artwork on the outside of the box of that or what the keyboard that looks like, check that out. And his second video is the Atari Cartridge Evolution. If you want to see how they evolved over the years, check it out. Vinnie Blacklogs 2 NTSC Super Nintendo production types I got. It's really cool. He has them both open and he shows you the difference with the sound cards or sound inside the Super Nintendo. It's really cool. If you're interested, check that out. And then Night Ram 56, Forter, uh, Mario Coco Egg Figure Toys Kid Series number four. Really cool if you want to see little figures, really cool, great detailed Super Mario figures. Check that out. Maxim RD's Me and My Peeps, Happy St. Pat's Day, LOL. If you want to see a really cool like jib jab thing with a computer enemy with their heads, uh, it's really awesome. Check it out. And then Standby Gamers, modded Xbox 360 controllers and PS3 Pro mods. If that interests you, check out that video. And Retro Gamer Daz has just recently put a video for Retro Gamer issue number 87. So if you like that. And Crow111's video, YouTuber Gamer of the Month of March is me, uh, YouTuberGamer.com, uh, I believe, uh, picked him and he did an interview with him. So go to the video and there's a link to go to the website and check that out. Really cool. Congratulations to him for that. For a little music, let's go to Waltz, Waltz for Luna, Mario Party, Rainbow Castle, Pol Piano Solo. Yeah, pronunciation sucks for me, huh? Anyway, check that out. And then P 
P5 Psych Fox How to Dismantle a Panasonic 3DO FZ1. If you've never seen that, check that out. And I got a lot of people who sent me messages about uh, to put on my channel's checkout list. I will get to all those next show. And uh, so, for now, guys, till next video.